Good morning, Old Park School. Today is Thursday, September 1st, 2022. Our special student guest for this morning's news is Bo. At this time, would you please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the, the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, invisible with liberty and justice for all. Would you please remain standing for our Panther Pledge? Today I will be respectful, on task, accepting, and responsible, and I'm proud Panther. Hear me? <laughs> you may be seated. Thank you for helping out this morning. We will now pause for a moment of silence, which may be used for your own thoughts, prayers, or quiet reflection. It's Thursday. That means another literacy lab for us. Today we'll be learning more about Mrs. Faith as Miss Manson asks some questions. Sit back, grab your lab coats, and let's go to the lab. Good morning, friends, and welcome to the Literacy Lab. I'm Patty Manson. And I'm Faith Waka please and, and we, we are, are your reading, reading interventionists. interventionists. We're so excited to have you as one of our new Lit Lab ladies, Faith. Oh, thank you. We know that you've been one of our stellar third grade teachers and are soon to be adding a little more to your family. And this morning, we'd like to chat a little bit and learn about you and your new role in the Literacy Lab. Awesome. Let's get the ball rolling with the question everyone is curious about. Boy or girl, and do you have a name yet? It's a boy, and we are open to name suggestions. Hear that, friends? You can email Faith all your <laughs> suggestions. She can't wait to see everything you have to say. Mm -hmm. And we certainly can't wait to meet him. We're very happy. And oh, tell, remind us again, when is the due date, please? October 16th. Okay, friends, mark your calendars. October 16th, the new Walk Up Lees will be here on campus soon. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> We know that you've been here at Oak Park for a few years, and but teaching really wasn't like your focus. Can you tell us a little bit how that started? Yeah, so you're right. I didn't come here to be a teacher. I came for speech pathology. I was in the program at the University of South Florida, and I started to be interested in Oak Park because of all the students who use the SLP mm -hmm. services yeah, here. Right. And then I just loved it so much, and I've stuck around now. This is my sixth year. And we never leave. No, because <laughs> it's so amazing. It's wonderful. Um, the path isn't always straight for many of us. Mm. Um, what have been some of your memorable moments or maybe a takeaway that comes to mind? Ooh, one of my favorite moments so far being here was just this last year, my last and final year of teaching in third grade, was that at the end of the year, all of my third graders could read. Right, it was amazing, wasn't it? Was it was, so a lot special. of fun. Yes. <laughs> it was, it was a great memorable moment. Yes. I'm waxing poetic. Well, it sounds like a wonderful, wonderful experience, and we're happy to have you here. We're looking forward to the upcoming year and all of our wonderful adventures. Thank you. Okay. Well, friends, thanks for listening, and we'll see you around the park. Bye, friends. Bye. Today is Throwback Thursday, where we will highlight a famous event that happened on this day in history. On this date in September 1954, USA Hurricane Carol landed on the shores of the northeastern states with winds in excess of 105 miles per hour, causing widespread damage and taking 35 lives in Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. The area had not seen a storm of this ferocity since 1938. We hope you have a great day, Panthers, and... Always like, continue to... Roar!